Achievement. So we go through all the missions. Mission one: acquire fifty percent of a Ceratosaurus genome. All right, this is gonna be a long one, guys. So bear with me here. So to one hundred percent walk through this shit here, I'm gonna show you how to get the fossils and basically how to make the dinosaurs, and walk through all these missions for you to have you a little help. Just in case you get stuck on something. Now, you don't need them to be 100% to make them, obviously, which is going to be the next step. Right now, you just need to get it to 50%. <clears throat> so, you're going to use your extractions, and you're going to get the fossils, extract them, go to the DNA area, and pull the DNA from the fossils to get it to 50%. And you can check it in there in the lab, and whatever have you. But obviously, you know, the next step is going to be to make one. So, first island here, obviously. So, you're going to want to make a separate pen, of course, because before, I'm sure you did some missions to make some herbivores. So, go ahead, find a little area. doesn't need to be exactly like mine. You can do it however you feel the need to. I always like to look for a decently open area. Backed into the corners, mostly. With some water around it, which doesn't really matter because you can just delete and add it, but it's just one less thing you might have to add if you can do it right. So, we're just going to kind of mess around the terrain here. It's at this point in the beginning of the game. I still don't know what I'm really doing. I'm still experimenting and figuring things out. So, I'm a little slow. So, I'm sure most of you are still picking up on the game if you are at this point. So, a lot of us are going to be still kind of like, well, I don't know what I want to do yet. So, I'm just going to kind of mess around with the map, the terrain. Still get a feel for how fast you want to move through the game and through the missions and side things and what have you. So, you're still kind of figuring it all out. Like, I am here. I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I'll be completely honest. I don't really care because I was enjoying the beginning of the game. Just still figuring things out, which is probably one of the best parts of games, honestly, is when you get to go through it and you get to figure it all out. So, don't mind me here. I'm just fucking off while I'm trying to figure out how to get this to look decently nice and smooth it all out and make it, you know, try to get everything even because I'm OCD as fuck about that. And this game turns out to be kind of a pain in the dick. Once you start placing buildings and things will be implanted in the ground and nothing's going to be really evened out once you start doing enough of that. So eventually that OCD kind of fades and you start to worry more about like, well, I should hurry through this a little quicker because the game's pretty long and nobody has time for this OCD shit. Maybe start off with, make it flat, and then go from there if you really have to. At least make the paths somewhat smooth, because when you end up driving around, that would be the only problem you would have with this game, is if the terrain is somewhat completely screwy. If it's all hilly, up and down, and you'll be driving around, flying around. Especially if you're trying to personally go do the uh, disease outbreaks and other outbreaks, whatever have you. You know, you just can't drive and you're doing all sorts of crazy shit, that would be the only concern I would have if it's the pathways aren't at least somewhat, you know, straight. Obviously, the only other part about that would be the building. If you don't actually have it smoothed out enough for a building, it will say terrain constraints, obstructed, but sidewalk, and all sorts of stupid shit. So, just make sure that, you know, you have a base of what you're doing. Not a big deal if you don't, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just as I am here, I'm just like, well, I want it here by the water, and shit, this ain't working. So I'm going to go through here and start fucking with shit again. Still trying to figure out exactly how big I want my pens. I don't know the, the needs of the dinosaurs at this point. You'll figure it all out as you progress. It's no big deal. Just uh, make decent sized pens, obviously, for bigger dinosaurs. is like the only real thing you need to worry about. 
the bigger the dinosaur doesn't always mean you need a huge ass pen like a t-rex later on doesn't quite need a generous pen it needs an average size pen just with enough grass stuff like that so obviously make your incubation lab connect your sidewalk build a nice little pretty fence now honestly I could have cut all this stuff out but where is the fun in that you get listen to me talk and rave and talk about the game and the beginning experiences and all that fun shit other funny thing here is that my dumbass decides to put this backwards did it put the sidewalk facing the sidewalk and the doorway? Still, like I said, experimenting the game, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I end up finding out pretty quickly later on that, hey, without a fucking sidewalk connected, you get no power. And then I turn it around backwards. So what I like to do for most of my sidewalks to the doorways is to be able to put them really close to the sidewalk and it automatically connects it now look at me here I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing no clue at all yet just building random fucking bar bowls I'm trying to fucking figure out how is this exactly going down like why is it telling me that all this shit isn't working well like I said come to find out you need the sidewalk to connect it and like scratch my head like uh okay I have no clue. Still figuring the game out. It's cause, you know the sidewalk, uh, you know symbol there that is being obstructed by the trees. And I'm like, well, shit. I gotta make a fucking sidewalk. I just built this fucker backwards. And I do not really want to destroy it. After I spent the money on making it, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Fucking noob alert here. Don't even know what the hell is going on. So I'm reading this stupid shit, figuring this out. I'm like, okay, okay. Looking at the other one. What I did wrong. Okay, would you please get this out of my face? I'm trying to figure this shit out. No, I don't want to do that. Fuck you. Try to figure this out. So I'm like looking at the buildings. I'm like, okay, why is this other one not powered? I'm getting all these reds on the top of my screen about your shit's not working. So a little bit of a mis uh, misleading mission here. Like I said, a bit of extra in the video I could have cut out. But I went through and I was trying to go through my videos and I had some crazy recording times. Didn't feel like watching all of this to figure out the start stop points of everything. So I figured out what the start was and the end was. I went from there. In like a three hour video of me recording nonstop, I went through, found it, and just called it good. You know, kind of regretting all this extra shit you're seeing because, you know, it's not really too helpful. Unless you like to listen to people sit here and rant and rave about their games and watch people be stupid. Yes, I have my moments in games when you're still figuring things out and you're still a little bit duh about it. And I'm sitting here fucking being completely retarded now, but I'm watching this again. It's like, uh, man. Once you figure it out, I hope you don't have as many issues as I do, because once you figure out where to put the little generators, it's pretty easy. Just obviously, you know, I stick them in the front of the buildings so it can get to multiple buildings, hopefully. Be a space mount. If you got a good enough map, a good idea is if you, for this one, I would put it in the corner here of the generator so it can touch the tips of each of the buildings. It's all it needs. Put it behind them, especially if you can get your buildings all in the line, and then you can kind of put the generators in between them in the back, and you can hit like six buildings with just a couple of them. Some good stuff.
But me here watching this is, uh, it's a bit too much. It's a bit much. So, I got the most part of this good here. They're all connected mostly and got power. Just a few things that don't. Promise you after this, it should get better. Because I have to sit here and get power to things so I can go get fossils. Now, I'm not sure what I just did there. I think I just went and got fossils from the Triceratops. Why? That is not the mission here, man. What? in the hell are you doing that is not for good educational purposes bad guide sorry here guys you know what to do you should know what to do let's get the ceratosaurus's fossils go in here extract the DNA get rid of the excess crap now if you want, go ahead and get them triceratops out of here. We ain't gonna need those. So go ahead, extract that DNA, because you're gonna need that later on anyway. Once you wait for your other helicopter to get back, you should definitely go out there and get that ceratosaurus. And make that pen while it's out there grabbing your fossils. Now me, I'm just gonna sit here and piss around some more. You begin in the game if you are not used to these kind of games, if you've never played Zoo Tycoon or any of these other guys' games. Because I haven't at this point, and everything to me was still brand new. I'm sure there are some similarities to the other games with just skinned over different options for the dinosaur universe of things. So to me, make you know, making things from a brand new game that I've never even had any kind of experience with took me a little bit longer than usual, I'm sure. So I'm just going through things, still trying to figure them all out, because I have not made my own pen yet. This is the first pen I've made, because your other one is already set up for you, so therefore, when you do this, like I said, this is all brand new to me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, you know, you go out, and they're like, oh, you need get these other dinosaurs so obviously you're not going to want to put some carnivore with herbivores so you're like oh yeah so I'm going to make a pen and you're like well, shit now it's getting real now I need to do my own shit can't be babied don't have to pre-made pens for me it's all up to me now so you figure out your little parameters and you know you get to figure out what you can and cannot do at this point this is your first little experimentation of making your own shit so you're like, okay, you can do this, but I can't do that, but you can do this and that. You come to find out later on, if you press the X button and you pay attention, you can make curved fences. At this point in the game, I don't know. I didn't know that. How would I know that? All I'm worried about is making my pen for my dinosaurs. Figuring out what the hell is obstructing it, because it doesn't clarify, oh, you just, you know, this is how you build this, this is how you can't do this. Sidewalks, obviously, cannot be in the way, period. So you're going to want to get rid of your shit that's obstructed, which would be your sidewalks. The only thing you can go through while making things is trees, and it will remove them on its own for you. Other than that, anything else that's in the way, you're going to have to remove it yourself. So, once you go through this and make your pen whenever I get to it and get rid of these fucking trees that are so graciously 
in a way after deleting a sidewalk. Which is one weird thing I don't get. If I'm trying to clear a way, I don't want trees magically pop up. Just because I removed a fucking sidewalk does not mean that trees should automatically just pop up in my way. For me to cost money to fucking remove what you just put there. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. So, make yourself a nice little pen. Which my dumbass is still not, you know, hey, multitask, you should be getting fossils while doing this. Now, if you want to make this quicker, you take my advice, you know, once you're fresh to the game, you don't know what the hell you're doing, just get the fossils. While that's going on, you do your other shit. you learn that, if you're not already. To me, I'm so intrigued with trying to figure everything out first before I go balls the wall into multitasking the shit out of this game. Sure, most people, you know, starting off fresh in the game, you're not gonna really be thinking about everything at once. Obviously, you're gonna be worried about getting the basics down. So we're like 16 minutes into this mission, which I haven't really done for the video sake purposes of showing you how to do it. But we'll get there. I assure you, we will get there. I will make this pen. It'll be half-ass slopped. Obviously, it's the first one I've made, so nothing's going to be perfect. We're just going to go ahead and make this for these dinosaurs to get their asses in here. So. Incubate and release this Stratosaurus. We don't really need the fossils, it seems like, anymore. I wasn't really paying attention to needing or making dinosaurs or fossils but yeah we've definitely going to be getting the fossils first before you do this so obviously keep that in mind so our next step would just be to make their pen make sure they have water food and don't forget to leave a gate so you can get in later on so you can feed your fat asses and obviously you're going to need viewing stations and all the good fun sorts So I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. You know, just messing around with the terrain somewhere. Probably getting rid of a little bit of water. Don't want them to drown. Too much water. I doubt they could swim. Alright, moving on. Making a Ceratosaurus. going back and realizing that the pathway is not connected. Hmm. Like I said, piss around, you piss around. To begin the game, it's to be expected. I will not be doing this for all missions. Mind you, these missions do get longer, obviously, with each island. So therefore, this video could have been cut down to probably in a little over an hour. But some of them do get pretty long, so... Just making all kinds of generators for no apparent reason, and connecting shit for no apparent reason. You know, still still figuring out this why this isn't working uh, with the pathway, man. It's because you built the backwards and the path. That's what I slap myself for this point. Up to you, you want to get a contract or not, whatever helps you get whatever you want to go for. If you want to go for one person's thing to max it out, just keep that in mind. If you do do that without doing the others, up them a little bit along the way. 
that you're making some sabotages and some other things have you because once other people's are low, it's what's gonna happen. So we finally incubated and released our Ceratosaurus and released him into the wild. So for our next part of the mission, we are going to construct and power a fast food restaurant and we are going to research item from the research center for the clothes shop. Pretty simple stuff. Just go into your items for guest, plop down a fast food restaurant, go into the research center for the research stuff, and research the clothes shop. Now, mind you, I'm not sure when in this section for the mission that I actually do this, so bear in mind and keep with me here. I will obviously get it done for you. I'm just thinking about adding it on, where you add it on to put it to, because I said, I still don't know what the hell to do or how to place things. So I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing. Not that it's going to be conventional to the park alignment needs and necessities that you're going to be wanting to do later on in the game. I kind of went out, reached and expanded out here, which should be by your dinosaur pens and stuff, so that way that's where they need to be. So, make sure that you don't put it way out here. Put your restaurant and clothes shop stuff near your attractions. And you're only going to want one, honestly, one of each major thing, which you obviously want to get the best of them now. So, my suggestions for an easy, quick tutorial on that would be, since you're only going to have for food and drink is the best thing you're going to have is the fast food restaurant. So, put that near your areas of attraction and for shopping obviously the clothes shop is going to be your best bet later on you can do anything for entertainment you want because you're not going to be able to have stuff like the bowl and alley unlocked for a while so one of each of those three and you should be good to go now as far as if you want to tweak them and put different items in the store you really don't need to I like to just keep it the first item and I don't really raise the prices too much. I like to at least let them get built up first before I even bother doing that. Once you get the max number to increase the manage, you know, the staff, increase the staff. That way you can get more people. Still keep things cheap and low and the same item and consistent. That way you keep getting people to come there change items too much and fluctuate prices around too much then you're gonna like that so you keep some consistency if you feel like you want to raise it up a little bit just don't do too much so it hurts your guest count in the building too much so I'm gonna go down here and build these buildings Not knowing that they should be up there with the attractions for the dinosaurs. Let's make sure that you do do that. Keep them with the dinosaurs. Because that is what's going to get you your money. And that's what's going to get these full of people. Somebody could put down the gray plot there. Don't see much purpose on the gray plots, just empty wasted space. Gonna open this up finally. After it seems like years and eternity. Of me not connecting this pathway like a fucking idiot. 
What was that? You guys just see that bird there in the tree? I just saw a red bird. The hell was that shit? Killing your home. Taking away their homes. Birds don't need trees. I need flat space for dinosaurs. Get the fuck out of your birdie. So I'm just winging it. Just fucking doing whatever the hell I want. The half ass amateur, just so I can have my freedom to make my park. I'm trying to be somewhat thinking of how I want buildings, but not really knowing at the same time. It's always a great adventure. So there you go. Got your restaurant up. Now, you're just going to need to research that clothes shop. So since this is my first, you know, money maker for guests, I'm like looking at it like, okay. Besides the gift shop sitting there, it's pretty pre-made. So I'm going to go in here, not knowing you can just press the back button and go on over to it. Oh, I'm still looking at all this shit like... Right, it's buildings. All right, there's your clothes shop. Research that bitch. Take about a minute. Yes, sir. Just waiting for the clothes shop. See what kind of good Jurassic Park t-shirts I can get out of this bitch. Looking around, see what other goodies are in here. All your little upgrade perks and goody goodies. Alright. There you have it. Oh, uh, that's done. I'm gonna go on a splurge spree and upgrade some more goods. Things that I want to have to help me out. Alright, now I can back out and see what the next part of the mission is. Sorry about that, guys. I wasn't sure. I could kind of tell it wasn't over because it didn't pop up on your screen saying, hey, mission complete, but I couldn't see what the next objectives were until it came out of it. Alright, now we got to build that clothes shop. And now we need to make a viewing gallery. And obviously, all this stuff needs to be powered. So make sure it's powered and just make it. So as long as you make these in the yellow areas, you can see there in the yellow circle, that means it's powered. Now you see, I don't know why my dumbass decides to make this shit all the way out here. Now I'll advise you just to make it up to the sidewalk in the yellow areas so it's just less for you to make. Make things up to where you started. Work your way outward. It's a lot easier because that way when you actually get the hang of this stuff, you're going to be like, okay, they need to be near there, need near here, and then you make your pens, kind of spread them out up against the walls around the borders is how I do it. That way you want your buildings and everything else inward in the middle of the map as much as you can. And that just saves space. Honestly, if you don't do it any other way, I don't really see it being very efficient without pushing the pens up against the boards of the map. Space is a big must in this game to get down. It'll definitely help you out. And you'll understand what I'm talking about once you get in the game more. If you make pens in the middle of the map, you could probably get away with a couple, but I couldn't see you doing the whole entire area like that. That would just be really ass backwards. Make all your pens in the middle of the map. Make all your buttons in the ground. I don't even understand. I don't want to even think about it that, that way. That way, just be too fucking weird for me. So obviously, set this up along the fence line. It's a lot easier if you put it right over the fence. Love all I can view it this way, but I can't turn it the other way. It makes no sense. No sense. 
Sidewalk, are you just in the way? You fatty or what? I don't understand. So, obviously, you can see the blue aura, the viewing, so they can see in that area. So, it's best kind of make two of these on each side. That way, you get the best viewing. Obviously, the better the view, the more people want to come to see the dinosaurs because they can actually see them. And that way, if you have your restaurants and stuff near them, you'll obviously get more there too. Hurry up, put the damn thing down. You're gonna get diseases. Damn, man. So you could either manually trank these motherfuckers, obviously, or you can send out your guys to do it for you. I'm fine thinking that that's exactly what was blocking me. So, even though the trees don't matter because you can just make it and the trees disappear anyway, I decided that they were in my damn way and that I wanted to remove them. So now we're about a half an hour, over half hour. Yeah, we could probably honestly have made this video, like, like I said, an hour long or so. If you feel the need, obviously, you could skip through this, this boring shit, get to the point. Other ones are going to be a little better, because this is the first missions that I was doing with entertainment. So they're going to be probably the slowest going through the beginning, obviously. The rest will be better. It's just going to be the beginning, because you're still, I was still figuring out what was going on. You could be doing the other missions too, and basing upon that, it'll be definitely your experience of what you did, did not learn. So you could pick whichever ones you want to do first in your first island. I'm sure there will be a learning experience for you to know what to do. Alright, you know, some year here, I don't know what I'm waiting for, just place that bitch down. And it's best to just uh, put a power generator, in my opinion, right next up to the corners of it. Keep it out of the way. But near it, power it, obviously. Make it at least it looks somewhat professional. Oh yeah, now it's telling me, hey, 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 you know, you need to medicate. You didn't inject yourself with that HD, you know, I don't know. At this point, I'm running out of shit to say because I went a little overboard on the waiting process for this, but hey, I learned, you learned, I think we all learned something from this, wouldn't you say? At least I would hope so. I hope we all learn something from this, people. Is that you don't do drugs. You don't medicate. Unless. Unless you're really into that shit. I'm just gonna shut up now. No, I'm just kidding. I got to how to do this. Eventually. Somehow. Possibly. Whenever. Like, I, you know. I'm not being dumb. So, I don't even know. If I actually do this right away or not because the video seems to drag out for a while here so I could possibly medicate and I could possibly not it's all up to you or me or him or her I don't know I'm losing my mind I know that much oh hey no yes no maybe so I don't know Power generator, that shit. Power generator, come on. Power generator first, build the poles outward <coughs> to your stuff. <coughs> That's the best way. I would say. Make your generator up to your building, know where the ore is of the power. Build the power poles, pylons to your other stuff to connect it.
And there you have it. Power, folks. That gives you power. Do you like absolute power? Alright. What did you just do? No. Go back to the generator, man. Put the power generator down. Build the pylons and connect to it, and you should get your power. It's pretty funny. It's like, I wish I could tell myself back in the back of the day I was doing this. Like, hey, don't do that. Put that down first, and then do your other stuff. You know, learning process, fun. Especially the game like this. When you start out, you have no clue as to what you're doing. No clue. All right. So, now all you need to do is construct a live bait feeder. Put that in there with your good old buddy. Maybe you named him. Maybe you didn't. I don't know if you didn't know that at this point or not. You can name your dinosaurs. So go in there. Go ahead. And get a live bait feeder going. And that's all there is to that once you do it. Pretty simple, but you know, like I said, now my dinosaur is diseased and dying, and I'm like, oh, I was sidetracked. Here we go. Because that's just what's going to happen in this game. You're going to get sidetracked constantly by all this stuff happening that you won't be expecting. So I will try to keep the rest of these missions strictly missions. Can't really say for a hundred percent sure if I do or not I don't remember it's been a while since I've gone through this and watched it sidetracked other games I've come back to redo these finish what I was doing and get these guys up to see if anybody will watch them hopefully they are somewhat helpful so I know later missions can be kind of a bitch the first ones you should not have an issue with obviously Later ones have some tricky issues through them. So, back to the carnivore pen. You realize these are fucking just regular feeders. And to get a live bait feeder is the goat. Make sure you make a goat. You know, T Rex's favorite little snacky. So, get that goat out there. Once you're done reading all your stuff. Y'all need to read the information of everything going on here. Realize that's not the right one. And you go through your list to realize what you need. Make it. And there you have it, folks. First mission done for entertainment. Now, mission two, second island. You need to make a Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, and Ankylosaurus. Starting out. Pretty simple if you ask me. So. Getting into this. Shouldn't be too bad. Depending upon, like the last island, what you have done. And how you have done it and your pens. So, what I have done 
is checking on my dinosaurs. Make sure they aren't being stupid. I don't know why I'm looking at my metric contosaurus so long, but hey. Alright. So what I've gone and done is made a pen full of Dilophosaurus over here. And I've already incubated them beforehand. Now I've also done this video after I've beaten this island and I restarted it and redid all of this stuff. So here's my Velociraptor over here and my Ankylosaurus over there as you can see. Separated it all in different pens. So I, like I said, I've done this island before and I reset it up because I didn't record this part of the mission which is I just I did it off video which is like a dumbass. So I went ahead for you guys and redid this so it's better set up. It's gonna be pretty fast through this so as you can tell they're all being released now I didn't even bother showing you and waiting in the process of anything else so after you do this crap you're gonna get power outage apparently no what you need to do is make sure each dinosaur remains enclosed within secure enclosure for five minutes so, make sure the Dilophosaurus is over there with his other buddies. He'd be just fine. The Ankylosaurus with his buddies, just fine. Only problem you're going to have is with the Velociraptor. Because he's by himself with no other Velociraptors. So, he's going to get cranky. Because, you know, as we all know... Velociraptors are a bunch of dicks. And they're too smart for their own good. Can't be left alone. Can't fucking be alone. Because y'all ain't gonna take no shit. Because all they want to do is get out. They're little mischievous bastards. So, keep an eye on them all for five minutes. Now I know this can be a hit or miss mission because I've gone through it several times. It could be a pain in the ass. Bear in mind anything like an Ankylosaurus, any of those armored ones, they need to be in a pen with not very many dinosaurs, period. Just keep that in mind. So this Metricanthosaurus was also part of another mission. That's why that pen is divided in half, because there is a giant ass pen. It's a giant ass pen, which I used for another mission, you'll see another video for the science mission, that I cut in half, just for the purpose of having room to do this crap and be able to do specific missions on here. So that's why you see it like that. And you can come up with whatever way you want to do this, but just make sure that they're all separate like this for five minutes and and enclosed. So as you can tell, all because his social is shit that he is going to break out. Now if you want to also guarantee that they don't break out with experience later on in the game, if, with better fences especially, double them up and they, you can almost can guarantee if by any time after they break that first fence if anything pisses them off like a storm coming through after they break that first fence they should have already calmed down and had their way with everything as long as it's gone and you can go back over there and repair it they shouldn't have any more issues so once his comfort level actually starts hitting in the red is when he actually will start breaking the fence so just keep an eye on him. I 
constantly watch both these guys because I don't know what they're going to do. Don't trust any of them. The Dilophosaurus will be fine. Ankylosaurus will be just fine because he's with a small group of people. And I made sure of that. I knew that he wasn't going to be with a lot of people, so he won't be getting out. But they will if you have too many in there. So just make sure you keep that to a small amount. And I'm also right now making another raptor just to keep him company. Kind of screwed up there a little bit because I had this triceratops in there. So I couldn't have two at the same time, but I could have just added the, the mod to make more space. It would have been pretty uh, pretty smart just to have a couple in there so they don't get all mad. I mean, like I said, it's just pure luck. Because if, if they get out, I mean, he's like hitting walls and he's actually running around. I'm getting really lucky here. So keep that in mind that if they get out and they get out, out, I mean like all the way out to where the civilians are. I don't know if they get out by the fences it starts over, but I know if they get all the way out by the civilians where it terrifies them, the countdown will stop. And you will be screwed because it won't take long after that. As long as if you don't hurry up fast and get back at the pen, it's just game over, man. You just have to hurry and get back at the pen if that does happen. So, that should do it for this mission. As long as you kept them enclosed for five minutes. Like I said, be prepared for the raptors, have more of them made, put them in there with him. And you shouldn't have any issues at all. As long as you make multiple raptors, they'll all be good. And that should wrap up that mission for you. Pretty quick. So good luck to you in that one. Keep in mind what I said from the tips. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue to do. Moving on to mission 3 in 3rd Island. Alright, we gotta incubate and release these dinosaurs with these mods. So... Moving on to aisle number three here. We got to release the, uh, not quite sure how to remember how to pronounce this one. The, uh, Myasaurus, whatever the hell that damn thing is. Yeah, yeah, the Myasaurus, whatever, Sora shit. The fun one to pronounce, the, the, uh, the dumb thing, the dumb looking one here that looks like a rat, an overgrown hairless rat. So I'm like looking through here and gotta go in here and you gotta modify it. You gotta have the right pattern. The Savannah pattern gene for the oversized rat. The Mysora. So there's that. Incubating. So there's one part of your mission here. Incubate that one. The next one you're gonna need is that one. The Parasaurolophorus. I don't even fucking know, man. Some of these names are just so crazy. The Parasaurolophorus. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I put the wrong pattern on that one. So, yeah, make sure you put the Savannah on that one also. So I just kind of wasted time there on this one. Like I said, that mission two was me redoing that one to record purpose. So that one was already kind of pre-known and I knew what to do. So that was pretty good there. Pretty quick and easy. Knew what to do, set it up, and just go. This one's won't be too bad though. Pretty easy. As long as you pay attention to well, you know what you're doing, dinosaurs won't break out and cause you too many issues. Overcrowding will be 
one of your main concerns. If you're not paying attention, you'll have overcrowding issues with dinosaurs that are really, really picky. Either they really, really, really want a lot of them, because a lot of these things, some of them, are just so sociable that you need like five or six. Like for instance, later on the game, you need Thegosaurus, and you need like six of them just to maintain them, which is a bit crazy. Just because if you want a couple of Thegosauruses, you got to have the whole bunch. Otherwise, they get pissy pretty quick and break out. So keep that in mind when you do these missions, and you're like just focused on the mission itself with the constraints to get it done. You pay attention if you've never released the dinosaur before. Look at its needs, because if you don't you'll have more issues than it's worth and you will be like well what the hell is going on I'm looking over here doing multitasking for other things and it broke out you look to come to find out that it's getting mad because it's social is bad or it needs more trees or grasslands or whatever have you and you're not even having any awareness of it so that fucker failed big deal anyway wrong pattern so remake the bitch as the right pattern. So trying this again. Now, the Myasura is one in particular. Now I'm not sure if I actually click on the thing to show you, but it is definitely one of the worst in the game, in my opinion, for its social. It needs like six of them just so it is not mad. In my opinion never made it much because of that purpose. See it's social? Yeah, look at that social. You need a lot of them. It is just not worth it. If you want variety of dinosaurs, that is not the way to go if you want to get ratings up. Obviously you need to do it for mission purposes, but for anything other than that, these dinosaurs, in my opinion, do not help me with what I need at all. And that thing fucking failed again. So glad you can do that for me. And you're 100%. Man, you're a bitch. This is also one of the worst ones to hear. This thing also needs a lot of them. Both of these are some of the worst dinosaurs in the game to have. If you're going to have them, I would suggest if you're going to do something like that with these dinosaurs, you're going to probably have like a separate pen. And you're going to have maybe two to three different types that is it because you'll need like six of each and right there it's 18 dinosaurs in a single pen just from three types you don't want that in a other pen or anything else otherwise it's just going to be overpopulated in an instant to me I like to have dinosaurs you can get by with like two to three it's a very minimal very most, you know, and mix them with those, but these motherfuckers, man, I don't know what their deal is, if they just need to do, you know, a bunch of humping or what, Jesus, man, that's why, in my opinion, if you're gonna do this mission, a little heads up for this, is what I'm gonna give you here, make sure you make these both, make sure they're both ready to release at the same time, don't release the other one before the other one's done, just don't do it. Just wait till they're done. That way, you don't have to worry about the other one's comfort dropping. You don't got to worry about it they're breaking out and then they cause some problems with the mission. Because believe me, I've had so many problems with some of these missions where they're just breaking out because I was trying to rush things and not pay attention and I had other pens made with other shit. So I hope the population became an issue. And then they break out, and you have like a minute or two to put them back in the pen. If not, your mission is void. <coughs> and you have to start it over again. And then you gotta deal with the dinosaurs that you made. So there's that. I honestly don't know if I, in this video, actually make enough of these things to make them happy. Because they're just too many. They need too many. I tried, but there's just no point. No point whatsoever because it needs at least five. Four or five, I don't remember. Too many to count, too many to care. These things are just ugly, rat sized things. Just waiting for my other one to be made. 
and I think that it should be the end of the mission at once I release it like I said who would avoid any distress and extra crap to making their siblings just wait till they're both made 100% bam bam mission done you don't gotta worry about anything else otherwise you'll be sitting there being stressed out about oh well I made one and now the other one's out and oh my god right alright so once you make them both they go on do their thing your mission will be done easy enough guess this thing don't need social it looks like it does maybe I made more of them I had to make more of them so yeah I was right like four or five of them too not worth it alrighty then after that mission got two more to go guys we're almost there mission four alright releasing a T-Rex with a rating of 300 pretty easy pretty easy indeed because the T-Rex has already got a high rating as it is now this is definitely one of my personal favorite islands because it's so squished it's definitely pretty entertaining to see what people might come up with this on this island for what you want to make since space is really bad and obviously you ain't gonna have very many pens so I think I uh, split the pen off here just so I can do this part of the mission because later on I undo the wall and I put them together so I can have my achievement and he's just kind of hiding in the corner now for having an Indominus Rex fight a T-Rex No matter how you do this, obviously, I'm just doing this to do the mission. And I think I squeaked it little by two because I should have just looked at my missions and uh, made sure I cleared out of the pen or just sell some dinosaurs. That's always an option. If you don't have an area or anything that you know have enough room for, just Knock some down stuff and sell them. So, go and do your stuff. Do whatever you want to make sure that the rating is 300 or above. It's pretty simple stuff. Just go through here and just look at the bottom and see the rating and go from there. Now, I wouldn't recommend going too crazy depending upon the money situation because obviously the more you put on here, it's going to make your little million dollar dinosaur go up to 4 million pretty quick. So, and you don't want that thing to fail because if you're like what I'm running now in this level, is not very much money. So, therefore, just one of these things is going to eat up a good chunk. So, once you go through that process and get him going. Make sure you know what you're doing for what the requirements are for a T Rex. And this area is not quite going to cut it for the size. He needs grass. T Rexes just need pure grass. So keep that in mind that a T Rex needs grasslands, not very, very much trees. So then Dominus Rex is also not going to be very happy here either. Because there is just not enough room for the both of them in this pen. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to try to make him happy. 
but you know, they always be cranky. Need too much shit. Even Dominance Rex can fly to grasslands. And their comfort level is zero zilch, and they get pissed fast. Probably could have gotten rid of most of that water, honestly. Probably would have helped out getting more grass. There you go. Definitely is going to help there. But I still don't know if it's going to be enough. Nope, look at him. He needs all that grass. And he's getting cranky. You have to knock him out. Best way to approach this is if you have some kind of weird situation like this. Just knock him out. It ain't gonna kill nothing yet. Well, just leave him sit there for too long. Your best bet is just to knock him out. If you can't come for the dinosaur in time, just knock him out before, uh, especially with something like this, and they break out. So I, I try to cut the pen in half, try to get a T-Rex in the other half so I can do my mission with him over here. And this is a good size area. And he still needs tons of grass. Just no making him happy. I tried. It's just, just not going to happen, folks. He just ain't a happy camper, to say the least, right? He ain't having any of what I'm giving him. So, I guess he's just going to go all the way. Broke through the wall, and now it's gone too far. Thinks he's going to go all the way, guys. I best knock him out before any more of that happens, huh? Can't have this guy out here. That definitely is gonna fuck some shit up. So, make sure you have a pen for this guy. Like I said, have it be sell the dinosaurs and make room. Do you do what you gotta do? And me, I'm improvising like crazy right now, so. And then it ain't working out so good for me, is it? Don't worry, guys. I'll pull it out of my ass, I promise for you. Not quite literally, but I will definitely get the mission done for you guys. Ain't no worries there. I have come back from some pretty bad things in this game. Things that you wouldn't think that would be reversible. It takes a bit of patience. You'd be surprised what kind of crappy things and situations you can come back from in this game. It's all about having a little bit of patience. Trial and error. And it'll happen. Let's give it a little bit of time. So, that being said, you know, knocking him out, moving him around, fixing my walls. Look, he's getting picked up right now. <laughs> With all that being said, finally get to release him. And once you release your dinosaur, just gotta make sure that you just maintain the safety for five minutes. That being said, 
grass. Like I said, T-Rex needs grass. So give him a lot of grass. Make sure you maintain that for five minutes. I really shitty thing about this area is that you cannot put the grass in front of your building right there, and that's a lot of area to be wasted. So make sure you have to keep him happy for five minutes, and that will be the end of the mission. Don't need very many trees, so don't overdo it. I think I may have already done too many. Because he's already pissed off. And he's already trying to break the wall. Because look at all that grass he needs. So, if he gets out, your timer will stop. And if he's out for too long, I'm pretty sure the mission is failed. So, I'm going to knock him out quick and uh, try to avoid this. Because he got pissed off instantaneously. Didn't take him long to realize he didn't have any grass, so he got mad. So, I'm going to just boom over here to the side. And your protocol stops. And he realizes that he's got enough grass now. Thank you. God for that aspect, but he's still attacking the fence. For some reason or another, he just doesn't give a fuck. So, I'm just gonna give him a dirt nap, and he can sit there. So, while everyone's doing their thing and rearranging dinosaurs and knocking them out, kind of waiting around don't know how this is going to work out so well considering he tried to break out in like 15 seconds And the grassland is not even halfway. So what I could do is swap through pens around and just permanently knock out the uh, Indoraptor and just leave him knocked out in the other pen. I honestly could have put him in with the raptors. Don't know if the pen is be big enough for him with the grass or not. It's slightly bigger. I'm not sure. It might be. It might have worked. But obviously, this isn't working so hot. So you're gonna need to give him a lot more room than this. I would suggest leaving a pen open for this mission entirely. make your life a lot easier, right? Other than that, this mission is pretty straightforward, pretty short, if you have the room. I would suggest looking at your missions ahead of time. See what you have to do before you go ahead and make a lot of dinosaurs. I know you want to make the money, get the money up to do these things, but do these first. course at all times power always a thousand things at once in this game can never be too easy right power outage and all kinds of fun shit
I guess I don't move him around. I mean, the timer is going down, and he ain't getting completely out. So, I mean, at least when you knock him out and move him, the, the timer still stays down. Because it definitely would suck if you knocked him out, moved him, and it started over. And then I have to su suggest moving that pen. Over. I would, yeah, I bet that pen would have worked. Oh, well. You live and you learn. Or you don't and die. Or just fail horribly. So, moving around again. Moving his ass again. I love them telling them to repair that wall over there, you know. Still, I haven't realized, hey, I made that wall in the middle that uh, they can't get through to get through the door. There's no door. So, how are they going to get there? Don't worry, guys. The mission's almost over. All I have is uh, a little over a minute and a half. And we should be good moving on to the last mission. And you guys are going to love the last mission. Last mission takes a decent amount of time. Did you gotta do quite a bit of shit as you can imagine being the last mission of you know this section for entertainment as along with any of the other missions from anybody it's gonna take you a minute so bear that in mind but it is an enjoyable one at the least it can be a little frustrating like anything else in this game but it's a pretty good one Especially concerning that, you know, you have to do quite a bit of making in that one. So it looks like he broke the wall and is going to walk away, which is hilarious because now I don't need to trank him considering that the timer is still going and I don't want to stop it <laughs> well, what I do want to do is fix that wall and there you have it timer is done that's the end of that mission Pretty simple, straight mission if you can do it fast enough and don't have the issues that I did. So, I hope that helped you out that mission. Alright, here's your last mission, mission 5 in the last level. You have to make all of those Brachiosaurus with a higher rating, Triceratops with the higher rating. Obviously, we know how to do this. So, you need a Spinosaurus at the higher rating of 350, T-Rex at the rating of 340, Stegosaurus rating of 80, Triceratops rating of 50, and a Brachiosaurus with a rating of 135. Now, I have gone and done the majority of the waiting and cut out for you for the video purposes here. Is I have just went ahead and I have all these separate pens made up, specifically made for carnivores and herbivores. Split them up to the way it needs to be, so everybody will be happier, and we don't have any more issues like in the last mission. No space constraints, constraints, no grass, none of that bullshit. So, we'll go ahead and spit these guys all out for you. I may have. I'm not sure if it's just one or two I had to make. I 
think I got them all. I can't remember because the, the other missions are pretty similar and constraints to what you need to do is just make a bunch of fuckers at the end and then do something specific. For the most part here, I had the majority of this wait time is done. So elegant, isn't it? So humongous. Anyway, Triceratops, some Brachiosaurus, Moose's fat ass. trees for him because he's the first one in this area. So I think that it is the uh, Stegosaurus I fucked up on here. Yep. It's the Stegosaurus that I didn't wait on. And this is one of the worst ones also because you need like six of them. One of the worst ones for social. So make sure you make a bunch of them. And to get everything else out of there, you can. Thought I had the majority of this waiting time done for you guys to cut it out, but I guess it's all in that one pen, so I saved it all for the pen. So therefore, I couldn't fit them all in there. Make sure you check on everything else in the meantime, make sure everything's good. Don't get worried about them getting all pissy in the meantime. Get these guys out of the pen here. Need a little bit more trees, cause these motherfuckers need that trees. Get that shit in my face. Time to do a mission for your ass. How rude! This motherfucker ain't needy enough. Need to do a mission for me. You know you use guy contracts. You need the contracts. You wanna do my mission too? You need to give me suspicion. And look at that, failed. You better go check that out. Because that's your stegosaurus. And I, I ain't even checking it out. And stegosaurus. This is why the mission takes forever. And these things also take forever. So, it wouldn't be a too long of a mission if it weren't for issues. So, I did cut out a lot of time out for you guys and waiting for all the other screw-ups to happen and whatever happened with them to be made and all that good fun stuff. So, there is that. That definitely is a lot of cutting out of time, but even though the Stegosaurus don't seem like they take... <sighs> Any much quicker of a time. You fucking goddamn bastards with the slowly fat ass. Little chunky butts. So. You know. The life of stuff and good stuff of stuff. So, uh, dinosaurs. How's the dinosaur life treating you? It's waiting for your dinosaur, maybe? Yeah, me too. You know, my, my fat ass is like to die all the time. Mm hmm. It's pretty good stuff. I mean, look at that 
viability here. It's just 40 fucking percent. That's all. That's all. I have, like, you know, pretty shit chance of living. Yeah, stuff of dinosaurs, life of what do dinosaurs eat? Grass, trees, leaves. Uh, I think I'm losing my mind again, guys. I don't know. Maybe slightly sort of sided. I don't. I don't know. Mm. Oh goddamn, dinosaurs! They're slow processes. I'll tell you what. Obviously, you can make the incubation speed go up and success rate help you out there a little bit. I just had the capacity on to make all the other dinosaurs, so it was done, ready for you for the most part. So that I didn't have to worry about too much. So, Stegosaurus. A Stegosaurus. I actually might actually wait till they're I might actually might actually might actually oh my god I might actually wait till they're all done because I know at that time that their social is bad but you don't I don't think you need to for the mission I think you'll be fine I don't know what the other part is I know there's a second part to these missions Dinosaurs. Either you love them or you hate them, eh? I think I just wait just a little bit longer knowing that, you know, take some more out of release and all my good stuff. So it's just go ahead and release one. See I'll let you know I'll let you know what happens that time here and so before you release it in case if you get screwed anything, which I don't think you will because I don't have much time left in the video. So therefore, you should be good. All you have to do is wait for the storm. That's what it is. So, it might be best in your interest to wait. So go ahead. Make like six of them. And hopefully, you have a better viability than me to survive. Because nobody wants to wait for these things to get fucking half or so and then die. So, all you gotta do now is just sit and do nothing. Wait for that storm to hit and pass. Pretty easy stuff, if you ask me. Once you make them all... You just sit there and wait. So it definitely is the best of your interest to make the stegosaurus last. Make a whole bunch of them at once. Try to get the other one somewhat close to being done before you release your first one. That way, the other one's not waiting too long for its social, so you don't want to get mad in the meantime and break out. Because I'm pretty sure that'll just void the mission if it's out for too long. So you gotta ride out the storm. Once you make everything. Not too bad if you ask me. Kind of a fun little mission. Just a little irritating when things die. Other than that, I enjoy making the dice if they make they want you to make for them. You know. And making the ratings high enough to whatever they want. Pretty cool stuff. I have to mess around the colors a lot. It's definitely one of the coolest features in the game is changing the looks of things. I like my Spinosaurus color here. I think it looks pretty badass. So we're halfway there for the storm now. Now that just looks cool. Don't you think, guys? Look at them fucking spikes on his back. Pretty, pretty. 
make a couple more just for shits and giggles. Because I like to have it just a little above that line. More than that. For social. I don't like to dance on the verge of the social of bad. Or anything for that matter in this game. Not if it can be helped. That's for sure. So, I will definitely be changing a lot of these trees. Helping them out here. Got nothing to do in the meantime. So, why not? So, basically, you can do whatever you want to do in the meantime. mess around make sure the dancers are happy it's probably your best interest at this point you don't want to be making too much stuff because you're gonna have missions and all sorts of stuff to deal with other things so you don't wanna you wanna make sure everything's good to go from the previous stuff before you advance to more stuff and stuff 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 you know what I mean you know what I mean you should know what you do by now at the end of the game so make things pretty happy and everything consistently here with everything else so that way whenever you deal with missions at the top of this you can have a fuck ton of dinosaurs to deal with either you sell them, move them around, do what you have to do appease them all so while you're waiting like I said just go ahead Do whatever you have to do to kill time. Storm's almost here. So basically all you have to do at this point. You're not going to need to worry about the herbivores. The storm kind of irritates them. But we all know if he had storms in the islands at this point, which he should have by now. We all know that storms don't really irritate the herbivores, they irritate the carnivores. Raptors in particular, the T-Rexes, all that good stuff. The Deinonychus are definitely going to get pissier than hell. So, last little bit of the admission there it says is the weather the storm. Like I said, all you gotta do is sit and wait it out. Now I'm pretty sure the storm will be random as to how bad it is. If you make a save at this point, anytime before it hits, is what you could do. If it's like a really bad storm, make a save beforehand before it hits. And if it's bad, like a tornado comes through and just starts destroying the pens and things get out, and you're about to fail a mission. Just reload that save. You should be just fine. The storm won't be the same every time. If you get in a tornado, hopefully it won't go through your pens or anything, or hopefully you'll get nothing. And all you'll get is a little bit of irritation from dinosaurs that won't really do much, so. Like that. You get a tornado, they go up there, buy your main stuff. As long as the dinosaurs that are whatever it's by your area don't get out you will be just fine the storm won't last that long what you could do is just take the jeep follow it behind it and just repair it as it goes it would be your best bet that way if you have like things for power that are powering your pens and all that good stuff that you need for purposes of possibly to you know for extra protection if they want to get out you know you're gonna want that back up right away so we don't got too much longer here once the storm passes 
will be the end of the mission and you should get your achievement just as long as nothing gets out and starts creating a bunch of chaos said it does go through here and go through my pen creating a nice little hole but I'm gonna make that guy go do that right now he's right there so I ain't gonna give him any chance of getting out because here we went in threat mode so you know he's right here and know that it's broken so he's already going for it right now since the trino is far enough from him to he can go through it. And that part of the pen is fixed. Now the other part's open. Making a quick dash to their side to mop it up. I'm gonna send the helicopter over there just in case he goes for it. I'd be safe and sorry. And that's in the storm. He's going to start talking to you. Mission's over. It'll take a little bit for it to pop up. No need to knock him out now. Well, guys, it's been a long video of right here for you guys. I hope this video helped you out through these missions and gave you some heads up of what to do and what not to do. And if you guys thought this was helpful, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the help and feedbacks and comments. Constructive criticism. It's always helpful. Please like and subscribe to support my channel so I can make more videos for you guys. And what to do and what not to do in the future. And your achievement should be popping right there. Thanks for watching guys. I'll have more guides up and I will see you guys later.